Hi, I am architect Apurva Bose Datta, an architectural journalist from Bangalore. Over the next couple of minutes, my digital avatar will take you on the journey of my first authored book, Architectural Voices of India. The 12 years of my exciting journey in architectural journalism have given me an opportunity to interact with different groups of people, including students and professionals from the architecture, design and building industry and media houses. During these interactions, I have come across varied views, queries, all which have left me pondering and asking myself questions. Can there be something which can act as a resource book for architecture students, which talks about the journeys of some of India's leading architects and can inspire these students and help them understand the field? Wow! All these architects from the industry have so many diverse views on architecture, its challenges, its scopes, and its future. How interesting will it be to have something where we can celebrate the spirit of these architects and collate these diverse views to make a great resource on architecture in India? Everyone always writes about the built environment. Why doesn't anyone write about the creators and their theories, visions, and philosophies? Architecture is such an integral part of building a nation, which means it needs citizen participation in its processes. How can the common man get to know how an architect thinks and what he feels about the multiple issues that a nation is facing today? Can I write a book which brings many architects from different age groups, philosophies, specializations on one platform where they can talk about their journeys as well as talk on the profession and subject of architecture and planning. And those thoughts led to the genesis of my first authored book, Architectural Voices of India, a blend of contemporary and traditional ethos, which was launched in September of 2017. The essence of Indian society was dialogue. My book will take this ahead will focus on the responsibility of architectural conversations. It will reflect the importance of an architectural journalist in handling these conversations. And it will give a framework in which architecture as a subject and a profession can be discussed. The book has 19 illustrious Indian architects from diverse age groups, specializations and philosophies. The 17 chapters dedicated to these architects follow a similar framework which is a comprehensive profile of the architect, one-to-one -one conversations on diverse topics, personal and office spaces, and a symbolic project for the architect. This book is relevant for different sections in society. The architectural journeys and thoughts of these architects portray what it takes to pursue a field like architecture and be successful in it. Interesting anecdotes and revelations by the architects, the project images, technical drawings, and handmade sketches in the book help in understanding the intricacies of designing. The voices present the architecture evolution of India. Don't miss the last chapter, Reflections and Realizations, my summary and analysis of all the views of the architects in the book. The plurality of thoughts across the generations encourage critical thinking and convey how architecture has changed with the times. Discussions around topics including architectural education, sustainability and the green revolution, challenges and advantages of architects in India, what India can learn from its neighboring countries, importance of technology in architecture, role of architects in the building of a nation, importance of integration of architecture and urban planning, etc. Also feature in this book. As a citizen, you are also an architect as you have helped in building this city. Your suggestions for architects, planners and designers and the reimagination of roles is valuable. It is thus important for you to understand and be aware of their theories, dreams, projects, ideas, and visions. My book will help in understanding these. 
The book has been launched at a number of architecture and academic platforms. The book has been featured and reviewed in national and international dailies, architectural and design magazines, and portals including World Architecture, Arc News Now, Archetimes, Architecture Plus Design, Indian Architect and Builder, Hindustan Times, Architecture Plus Interiors, and Architecture Life. The book has been reviewed by leading architects, academicians of the country. The book has been published by Cambridge Scholars Publishing. For more information on the book and to buy it, visit my webpage at apurvabose.com slash book. To connect with me, visit apurvabose.com or write to apurvabose at yahoo.com. I hope you will enjoy reading the book as much as I enjoyed writing it.